Welcome to another children's theater makeup tutorial. Today, we're doing Miss Hannigan's makeup for Annie Kids the Musical. With this look, I want you to know that we're not trying to put a toddler in a tiara, but we are trying to do extremely harsh makeup. I want her to look like an adult to give her extra scariness. So this is Haley, and we're going to start with her eyebrows. The first thing we're going to do is give her a really severe arch and opaque eyebrows. Think of this more like face painting and less like doing makeup. I'm not following her natural brow. I'm not following her natural shape of her face or her bone structure. I'm just going in, I'm putting the arch further in towards her nose than I usually would if I were doing like an eyebrow on an adult. So this eyebrow looks pretty hilarious and it's very dark and opaque. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony and we're just going in super dark and I used a little bit of the e.l.f. setting spray in the beginning before I dipped in to just get the product nice and pliable. Now I'm going in with the Glamouflage. This is the medium light color. I'm going to carve out around the brows and actually fill in the entire lid down the nose and under the eye with this color. This is going to give an opaque look to the skin. The skin isn't going to shine from underneath like a regular child's skin would. When you're doing children's makeup for theater, you want to leave it very bare so that all of their natural glow can come through. But when you're a villain, you need all of the concealers. Then I'm going to go over all of this with the Revlon Color Stay Whip Foundation in Warm Golden. Once I have all of that blended in, I grab the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Translucent Powder and I am putting this right under her eye. Everything that faces up towards the sky, I want to put this powder on and everything that I want to look like it's facing up toward the sky, I'll put the powder on. So after I put this on, the light will really reflect off of that top part of her cheek. I'm going in with a medium color. This is Fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in Dark. And I'm contouring her for real, just like a big girl, just like an adult, even contouring her nose. Yeah, my nose looks good. <laughs> then I put that same powder right underneath that contour onto the jawline to make that look like it's coming out and the dark is receding so that her face looks a lot more angular, a little more spiky more attitude. This is a palette I love to keep on hand. This is a cheaper palette. It was a palette I got for free for buying a lot of hot tools at a beauty store. And these colors are not really balanced. The colors don't have a lot of neutral behind them. The pigments are pretty pure. So I go in first with a neutral kind of blue and then I pop in that greenish blue on top. When you're putting blue on, you really want to use two different shades so that you don't just have straight blue on the face. I blend in all of that powder and all of that contour and then I'm adding a bright pink blush right on top of the contour and just half an inch above it. Now I'm coming in with a NARS highlighting gel everywhere that I want her face to pop out. So of course the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, and the chin. Now we're coming in with the good old Maybelline gel liner. It's really heavy. It stays on through anything. I've swam in it and it didn't come off. So it'll definitely last on these kids. Then I do an e.l.f. setting spray and we're finishing off with Lancome Grandiose Mascara in Blackest Black. It's my favorite mascara to use because it only takes a couple strokes. You don't have to apply and reapply over and over to get the effect you want. This is a dark berry colored lipstick. It has some cool undertones which adds to the tackiness and also goes with the blue eyeshadow. If it was an orangey or red, this would look really off balance. As you can see, it really fits her character. She's an evil, angry woman. Thank you so much, Haley. I enjoyed watching you get into character, and I love doing your makeup. You were so much fun. This is the final look. 
She's crazy. She's out of control. She's Miss Hannigan. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more children's theater makeup looks.